everyone, welcome to Bear Anime. I hope you guys are doing well. Other than that, let's begin. I'm reviewing today Invincible. If you guys are wanting to spoil this, this may not be the video for you. But I think it's a really great show. It's really a lot of action pack. I like the main characters. There are a lot of 3D characters in this and it's so amazing and different things. Um, like his dad, like the main character's dad is great too. In a sense of like he's not the typical superhero and he's super strong and amazing. And it's just like really crazy to see such art styles and such artwork done today. And I know people will be like, what do you mean such art styles and artwork? But I just think that it's such a such a normal artwork. Like not normal, but like it reminds me it's a nostalgia of the 90s, you know? I mean 90s, early 2000s nostalgia. Kind of give me a little bit of Batman and X-Men, which is really cool. So I'm excited for that. Uh, so like a lot of the characters are really great, you know? We have Amber, which is one of the love interests, which she's really cool. Then we have Eve, uh, which is really, like, she's a cool love interest as well. And then we have, like, Adam, which is, like, the main character that we follow um, throughout the story. And then we have his dad and his mom, and it's just super interesting. And let me get into the details. Okay, so what makes it the most interesting for me is basically this show has such a diverse casting it's amazing to see so many different people of color within the storyline so that was like really cool to watch as well um i just want to say this though i'm so invested in the show but they better not play with me and here's why hey everyone this is post sway bay editing i forgot that i didn't even say explicitly while i was talking in my edit um my edited video currently right that so originally amber's character was white and then in the animation, they made her black. And so as I was talking about before, um, or maybe later as I continue talking, is that I don't quite want them to necessarily make Amber, the, the new Amber or Amber in general as the character, since she is black now, um, not the love interest, right? And I know that sounds like weird, like, oh, black women don't have to always be the love interest, but I feel like black women are never the love interest. And if you're gonna make a character black, then you should like definitely consider how black women are treated in society and how people treat black women as undesirable. That's my only critique with this um, whole show anyway. Uh, I feel like the show is good other thing else. But uh, with that said, I'll give you back to post editing um, me where I'm not just a cardboard cutout or a graphic <laughs> on a computer screen in Canva and oh yeah, Hopefully you guys are not looking at my tasks. My tasks are very, there's a lot. I work a lot. Okay, bye. This has been Sway Bay Anime. Go back to the original video. Bye. So hear me out. Now, I'm about to talk about race. So if you guys don't like to talk about race or hear about race, you may want to step out for a moment. But let me talk about this. And they, I feel like they playing with me. They playing with my emotions, okay? And like, if you're a black girl and you know you love like anime and you love shows and you know we don't get enough representation as the love interest in shows, so you know what I'm about to say, right? Or you may know what I'm about to say. I feel like they play with me because <laughs> they have Amber in here. Like, so Amber is like the black love interest, right? So this is my only gripe to show. Other than that, it's amazing. Like 10 out of 10, everything else, right? This show is 10 out of 10, everything else. But this is what pisses me off. Okay, so Amber is not the typical love interest, right? Um, cause she's like this curvaceous, uh, plus size black woman, right? Who have like somewhat Afro texture hair, dark skin, right? And so she's like his love interest, right? For the beginning part, right? For the, for the first two, two seconds, right? So this is my only gripe, right? Um, with the show. Is that like the way that they show Amber, right? The way that they presented Eve and presented Amber bothered me, right? Um, here's why. They showed Eve when she walks in. Eve is like stunning and she like does a flip. She even, we found out Eve was a superhero. So, right. So Eve comes in, she's a superhero right there. But when we see her in school, she kind of gives a little bit of a Jean Grey vibe. Right. And then when we see, when we see Amber, they just present her Amber. Like she's like kind of plain. Right. And it's just like, I don't know. I feel like the story is directing me that like Adam is going to end up with Eve. Right. And he's just settling for Amber for now, which is playing with me because I don't want the, like, we don't have that much representation as black women. So I do not want the, like, first black protagonist, 
love interest that I have seen in a while to play second fiddle to like a white woman like I just don't right and so that that's just that and it's like it would be different if they both was like equally presented well you know um Amber was like giving his attention he was legitly torn between the two of like Amber and Eve and like we we just didn't know who he was going to choose but it's seeming like he's going to choose Eve but he's just playing with Amber <laughs> and so that's my problem right because it is a, it's a difference like you know like I don't mind like if they had two presented the white woman and the black woman equally like if Jean I mean not Jean I can call her Jean my bad when we if, <laughs> if they would present Eve like ba down and they presented Amber like ba down you know and there's nothing wrong with her being plus size but they dressed Amber in like this like this jacket and like this t-shirt and, I, and these I don't know her show her her outfit is so plain and it's just like what is this and it's not even saying like that may not go with her personality but her personality is not even plain like she's like the type of girl that would probably wear some bangles or something like I don't know she seemed like she would be looking good you know what I mean like not saying that's not good looking but I feel like the way they like accentuated like Eve's curves and Eve like looks pretty like in a sense of like she's not necessarily wearing makeup we don't even know if she wearing makeup or not right but then they have Amber just looking like plain and I just feel like they playing with me right and I'm like okay I don't mind if the plain black girl is getting attention right like I'm like yay because black girls deserve to be celebrated even if we're in our normal states right I'm happy and I am proud of that I'm glad I want more movies and shows to uplift average looking black girls right like I don't have a problem with that but my problem is in like in Hollywood and in every show is that and whereas the supporting black character of the black black character love interest the black women are always very much not dressed up or doing have as much makeup on or like as enhanced as the white women and that's what bothers me and I'm like are y'all doing this like I don't care about diversity if y'all gonna be playing with my emotions that's my point other than that, uh, this has been Sway Band Anime. I know this was a weird ramble. Um, my review still stands. Like, it's still a 10 out of 10 in other ways. But I just feel like, like as a person of color and as a black woman watching this, I just feel like I don't want to see a black woman not win in the love interest category. Because I think oftentimes black women are considered undesirable. But black women are very beautiful in general. And we're, like, really beautiful. So I, I just think that I don't want to see that in a cartoon when you can control like basically what people see it see so other than this this has been sway band anime peace